Hi, welcome to Robo Circuits. My name is Prashant, and today I am going to walk you through the process of integrating your ESP devices with Arduino IoT Cloud. And finally, we will design a home automation system with it. Recently, the Arduino community launched their IoT platform called Arduino IoT Cloud. The Arduino IoT Cloud provides an end to end solution that makes building connected projects easy for makers. IoT enthusiasts and professionals from start to finish. You can also monitor data from anywhere using simple user interface. In this tutorial, we will control an LED from the Arduino IoT Cloud dashboard. Then we will design an IoT home automation device and connect it with Arduino IoT Cloud. This tutorial is going to be too much interesting. Watch this video till the end and you will learn something today. First of all, we have to open our web browser and search for arduino.cc. This is Arduino's official website. So in order to go to the Arduino IoT Cloud, we have to select Cloud and click on IoT Cloud. Then we have to select locations. I am selecting America, Asia and Oceania. Then we have to click on Get Connected Now. Then a new window will open. So first of all, we have to create a thing. In order to create a thing, click on Create Thing. Then we will be served with a page. You can enter its name like I am uh, naming it thing. You can give any name you want. Then we had to create variables. So today we are going to control one LED. So we will create a variable and name it as LED. Then one type of variable it is. So it will be a Boolean variable where LED can either be true or LED can either be false means LED can be uh, turned on or turned off. Then we, are, we will click on add variable. Then we have to select a device. Now we will, I have already created this device. So let us create a new device. So if we have an Arduino device, then we can select Arduino. If we have a third party device, then we can click on it. If you go to the I icon, you will see we can select ESP, ESP8266, ESP32. So we will select this one. So our model is ESP8266. Then we will select the model. We have the node MCU 1.0 and click on continue. Then we can name this device. Uh, we can name this as a new device and click on next. Now we will be served with the device ID and secret key. We have to make sure to keep these things safe. So I am copying the secret key. I have copied it and now you can paste it in the notepad or something like that so that we can save it. And then click on continue. So our device is set it up. Now we have to configure the network. So click on configure and here, first of all, we will give the name of the Wi-Fi, which is Robo circuits. Then we will name the Wi-Fi password, which is also Robo circuits. Then finally, we have to paste our secret key like this. Click on save. Now we have done the network configuration as well as the device configuration. Then we will go to the sketch. When we will go to the sketch, we will get a code like this. So this is our device code. Then uh, in order to change this code, we can open it in the full editor we'll click on open full editor. Then we will get to the Arduino cloud editor. 
so you will need another software which is known as arduino agent so i have already installed the arduino agent so i am not getting this but if you haven't installed it you will get a notification right here and you can download it from the link then go to the arduino editor this is our code you can see this is the readme file if you want to read it then this is the things property here our things id and device id then we have our ssid and password and device key uh, which is written right here then we have to select a board which is mode mcu 1.0 and then click on ok we haven't plugged in the board yet so let us plug in the board first i have plugged in the device as you can see now we have the device on com4 we will select it and finally we will upload during the upload process the arduino cloud agent must be turned on if you want to confirm then you can go to the notification tray and check if it is turned on or not the flash is completed now we will go to the monitor section this is the serial monitor here we have the baud rate which is 9600 now you can see it is trying to connect to the Wi-Fi. It is connected to the Arduino IoT Cloud and also connected to the RoboCircuit's Wi-Fi. Now you can see the our device is getting connected to the Arduino IoT Cloud. Now let us change the code a little bit. You can see we have the setup function. Then we have the loop function. Then we have a, another function which is own LED change. So whenever the LED value on the LED changes, this function will work. Here let us write serial.print and let us print hello or let us print LED value changed. Now let us try uploading the new code. Till the time the codes get uploaded, let us go to the Arduino IoT Cloud again. In the top, we can see dashboards. Let us go to the dashboards. Now we can build a dashboard here. These are all dashboards which I created. Let us build a new dashboard. This is our dashboard. We can rename it. Let us rename it as Blink Dashboard. Now here we can add buttons. Let us add a switch. And now we have to link a variable to the switch. Click on link. Then we have to select a thing. Our thing name was thing and the variable name was LED and click on link variable. Then click on done. So our switch is created. So now our device is connected to the Arduino IoT Cloud and we can see LED value change. So that means a value on the LED is just changed. Let us try changing it again. Now you can see the LED value changed right again here. Let us try once more. In this way, we can send data to our ESP device. Let us try something different. Instead of this, let us try digital write and let us say pin number D2. And now the variable is LED. So that means our D2 pin will become high or low according to the switch we will also have to set the pin to output so now let us upload this code arduino iot cloud provides a mobile app which is available for android as well as ios let us open the tab now click on blink dashboard finally we have our switch now wait for it to connect 
Now we can control our LED on the ESP using our mobile app. This is cool, right? Let us make a home automation system which we can control using our mobile app. Let us do that. For designing a perfect PCB for the perfect home automation system, we need a perfect PCB designer. For this, I am using LTM Designer, which is also the sponsor of this video. Let me show you an overview of my design. While designing this board, I kept in mind to keep the board as compact as possible without compromising on any feature. Let's look at the components on the board. Here we have an ESP8266 chip. Then we have two relays and a compact power supply. I also added screw connectors for AC and JST connector for touch switches and sensors. 0603 SMD resistance and capacitors were used to reduce the size of the PCB. The 3D view can be seen by going to view and then clicking on 3D view. The PCB looks amazing in 3D view. I could make it more compact if I used 0402 resistors and capacitors. But we cannot solder such tiny components at home. LTM worked amazing in this design. You can get one month free for LTM design software if you download it from the link given in the description of this video. So that design is complete. Now we have to order these PCBs. For ordering, let's go to glcpcb.com and upload our Gerber files in the code section. Then we can select color, quantity and thickness and then add our design to cart. Finally, go to cart and check out our order. In just 5 days, I got the PCBs and they look amazing as expected. GLC PCB service is fast and cheap. Overall PCB looks great and now it's time to collect the components for this PCB and start soldering. I started with the small components such as resistance and capacitors as well as diodes. To solder them we need a sharp tip soldering iron, a sharp tweezer and thin solder. For cleaning you can use alcohol. To solder put some of the solder in one of the pads then take a tweezer and pick up the component and place it right in its place. Keep it holding and put soldering iron and melt the solder and then by touching the component and remove it. Now one of the pad of the components is fixed. Now we can solder the other side easily. You can come back to the first side and re-solder it if you want. After soldering all the components the final PCB looks something like this. Isn't it amazing? Now you can use a USB to UART converter and solder VCC, ground and RX TX wires from the converter to the board. Once the code is uploaded, we are ready to test our device. After plugging the device in AC power, we are ready to test it. Open the mobile app. I have created one extra button on the dashboard. When I click the buttons on the dashboard, the relays on the device works. You can hear that click sound. In this way, we can control anything. In this way, we can control any ESP device using Arduino IoT Cloud and make cool projects like this. We can install this home automation system. We can install this home automation system at our home and control our appliances using a mobile app. So this was it for this video. Hope you like it. If you do, make sure to subscribe the channel and give a thumbs up to this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.